Hello and welcome to official Xbox 360 Magazine's OXM Report. And this week we've got a series of exclusive interviews from backstage at the 2010 Golden Joystick Awards. Death. He is Rodrigo Borgia, one of the most powerful men in all of Europe and leader of the Templar Order. I've had so many fallings out with boyfriends because they have chosen the Xbox over me and relationships have broken up. And it was my fault to be honest, because I was the one who bought the Xbox for these boys, as I'm a generous girlfriend, but um, I ended up being snubbed in the end because of it. So I've always preached I hated games, and it's ironic that I'm here today. But I did there's, I did actually really enjoy um, Assassin's Creed, the first one. So I remember he was trying to break me into the, like games, like, you like it. And then he took, like, he sort of like gave me a taste for it and then took it away. He was like, oh, no, 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 because started, I started beating him, to be honest, so... Static. Absolutely thrilled. Yeah, really, really delighted. Just so pleased. You know, we didn't really come and expect to win, so it's a, it's a, it's a bonus for us. So it's great. Yeah, yeah, we were thrilled to be nominated, and yeah. I mean to be in such good company in the awards categories. Um, to win for us is really just the icing on the cake, um, and it means so much for us. Um, not only as a casual games company, but as a games company. Our kind of mantra has always been to try and get everyone gaming. We believe even people who don't think they game, they're gamers. They just haven't found their game. And the way the scene is turning now is that, you know, there's more and more opportunities to people to find their ways and wheres to play. Um, and I think for us, um, the fact that this is, you know, a consumer voted award um, really shows that, you know, people are kind of seeing that. We will see her, right? <laughs> we'll see her again. And soon. I thought getting married and having my first child was going to be the biggest moment of my life and they've both been surpassed by today's Golden Joystick win. So guys, this is the first like, uh, Final Fantasy game which uh, Nobu Uematsu has no uh, soundtrack credit at all. Is it encouraging that people still got behind the soundtrack for the game? It is encouraging, but you know, we have great fans. We have a massive fan base. So I actually think that the, uh, the Square Enix fans and Final Fantasy fans would have loved whatever we put out. But you know, I, I think this is a good soundtrack. You know, it adds a lot of emotion to a lot of the, uh, lot of the game scenes. And, you know, we're talking to the guys around there. I think a lot of people expected maybe a rock band to win or a guitar hero with those licensed soundtracks. In some sense, they're, they're easier wins, I'd say, in this category. I think it's quite rewarding for us as a publisher to have a soundtrack that's been composed especially for the game. It's fantastic. I think everyone probably forms a cue to say what a fantastic event this is and everyone loves it because it's voted for by gamers, you know, and, and for people that work in gaming that means a lot uh, and uh, especially for the developers over in the US as well that have produced a fantastic game that um, Guitar Hero 5, Guitar Hero fans love. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just really exciting and, and I think I, people will be very pleased with I it. I think Guitar Hero 5 particularly was, you know, was really successful because of the, the, the music licensing and the tracks that we'd managed to get in there. And uh, the guys over in the US and the UK, you know, the licensing team did a fantastic job to get the, 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 the track list that we did, which I think really pulled it off and, and achieved this award for us. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fantastic. It's, um, you know, the racing genre is a really, really hard fought genre and has been over many years. And so it's great for Forza to kind of continue to get that recognition of being such a great racing game, so props to Turn 10 for delivering such a fantastic game. Now, we saw a, a brief glimpse of a Kinect-enabled version of Forza yes. at E3. Yes, now, yes. is there anything more you can tell us? Uh, probably not a lot more than you've seen, to be honest with you. Um, obviously, we're really excited about the fact that um, Turn 10 have taken Forza as a, a kind of franchise and, and looked at what they can do with Kinect, and you've obviously seen the videos where you're kind of using your body to look around the car and walk up to it, open the handle, get in, and, you know, drive that experience. So... Nothing more I can specifically tell you other than I'm as excited as you are about seeing what they do with, with the kind of technology behind Connect and, and how they'll create a racing game that ultimately doesn't need a controller and just uses your body. So It's great. It's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic award. It's voted for by members of the public, which just makes it all the more important. And I think it's just a testament to what Bioware have been able to, uh, to deliver, which is just this phenomenal creative experience. So very pleased.